represents like all unrecycled and uncut for plastics like in the world like including like forks spoons and straws like all right come on i'll tell you about it come on according to national geographic approximately 8 million tons of plastics are being dumped into oceans every year and this is clearly not slowing down that is like if every square foot of our coast was covered with eight bags of garbage polyethylene and other similar plastics are popularly used in the manufacturing industry for the beverage industry, the lives of plastics begin in the form of small pellets that are then melted down and formed into bottles. Once the bottle has served its purpose, it is calmly disposed of through one of three methods. The first method being recycling, which is the best end to a bottle's life. The bottles are thrown away into recycling receptacles and carried off to recycling centers where they are sorted based off of type, cleaned, shredded, and melted back into small pellets to be used again. The second method is being thrown away into the garbage and ultimately ending up in a landfill along with the rest of the refuse to sit there for many, many years. The last method is they are thrown on the ground or other location not intended for the ball to end up, such as lakes, oceans, or forests, which can pose as an environmental danger. This is clearly an issue we wish to continue living on this planet. This is why scientists are looking for new and better polymers that will be safe and easy to recycle. There are many polymers that fall under this criteria, but perhaps the most interesting polymer is polylactic acid, or also known as PLM. Polylactic acid? But what even is that? What does that even do? Polylactic acid is an environmentally friendly polymer that is made from super crops such as corn and wheat. You see, where plastics such as PET fully degrade after hundreds of thousands of years, PLA degrades within three to six months under the right conditions. When PLA finishes its life off as a bottle or piece of plastic, it can be thrown away to landfills like PET, but instead degrade to smaller polymer chains. If PLA plastic was to be thrown away into nature, it can be degraded and broken apart by the organisms living in the soil due to being biodegradable. Once the pieces of PLA have been broken apart to smaller fragments, it breaks down to lactic acid, which is then consumed by the organisms, which are already accustomed to consuming the naturally abundant lactic acid. A method that PET does not have, which PLA has, is the option of composting. It goes to an industrial composting center that introduces enzymes, high temperature, and moisture, which converts the PLA to lactic acid, which can then be collected following the same fragmentation and conversion process. Okay, that's cool to each, but like... Are there any downsides to PLA? Yes, actually, PLA is not as heat resistant as the other plastics, but it's actually this downside that makes it better for the environment. Other plastics degrade actually high temperatures, making them last much longer after their intended use, whereas PLA's life is shorter. PLA's life being shorter is negated by the fact that it's easy to produce. Polylactic acid, like stated before, is primarily produced in corn, specifically cornstarch. Corn starch is isolated through a washing process which removes all other products, leaving behind starch. Starch is a polysaccharide of glucose. Its monomer is isolated through a hydrolysis reaction that breaks the glycosidic bond between the glucose molecules. This process is usually run at an industrial scale to reduce starch into many glucose molecules. After the glucose is isolated, it is run through a lactic acid fermentation process in which bacteria utilize glucose to excrete lactic acid. Purifying this process involves a heat treatment and liquid-liquid extractions. Lactic acid is then dehydrated to produce a cyclic diester that can polymerize within itself and form polylactic acid. PLA is purified through reclosization using cold ethanol and collected. Once dry, the PLA fibers that are used in products are spun using a process known as melt spinning. There are many complicated forms of melt spinning fibers, but mechanistically, they all involve melting the PLA into pellets using a needle-like head, and then spun through or around a cold medium to solidify the fibers. This process can be seen on the right as she melt spins a PLA fiber through a complex mechanism of pulleys that cool the fiber down through the air. Ultimately, the production of PLA and its degradation is very much a cycle that can be traced through and back to corn. Not unlike the nitrogen cycle, Bacteria in the soils can degrade PLA into micronutrients that will then be absorbed by the crops again, creating a circle of life, if you will. PLA! 
Ultimately, polyelectric acid is a versatile material that can be used to make a variety of objects. It has already been introduced in the process industry and began being used to make cups, food containers, fibers for clothes, bottles, medical devices, and even 3D printer filaments. It's a material that will continue to take over the many plastics that we use today and help make the world a better place one bottle at a time.